Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, in this video let's uh, model the upper part of the arm. The muscles like uh, biceps, triceps, brachialis and all. So we just try to create them. Uh, with the references for anatomy for the sculptors right now I'm modeling in the semi pronation post slightly elevated arm so biceps uh, generally comes uh, from the below okay this all faces I just try to assign gray shader so I'll use the shader here and you should be able to see the flow so I'm selecting these all faces okay and I'm going to extrude uh, them okay like that and um, I just wanted to make this shape little bit more round You can generally have a look on uh, the overall shape there. Let's try to define that uh, shape. Let me assign the shiny material. Okay, just to see the features. I will uh, make this line more lower than the deltoid. Like that. I want to select this uh, faces here press B and then just slightly move inside and also I select uh, the upper parts and slightly raise these points just to give that uh, nice volume to the hand uh, which suits the body uh, physic okay I just try to make some flow for the brachialis here so I'm going to delete this line here and then twist this flow instead of this line going here I'm going to connect it uh, there and then this line somewhere here so delete the lines okay and then start selecting these faces press ctrl e to extrude and then scale it i'll uh, make the harden edge and then press 3 and then have a look on what we have got here okay I just delete this line here 
and I'm using the slide edge tool. Like that. And I need to um, add lines here. And take it forward because I don't want the detail to be uh, showing up I mean the starting point of this muzzle I don't want it to be visible so that's the case so I'm going to move it so I'm going to select all that vertex points here and then just apply average vertices just to relax and then nicely uh, sculpt it to the roundness I just wanted it to be more uh, showing up the crease of the deltoid so I'm moving these points uh, low and then when you should able to see uh, that's that's not showing up here like that I'll add a line and then I'll make sure that this line is giving that nice roundness and then start again averaging this lines here I'm using the slide edge tool I'll use the sculpt uh, polygon tool sorry the sculpting tool not sculpt polygon tool and then just slightly relax this points Okay, so that's uh, brachial, uh, brachialis uh, muzzle. Uh, let's try to focus on uh, the triceps muzzle, which comes uh, from the deltoid here. Okay.
on the back meanwhile i just try to relax certain points I'll use a slide edge tool and then just uh, add a couple of lines there for that I use the bevel tool and then one line became two I use the hard edge so that I could see the faces correctly and get the correct result there So from here I need to select the lines uh, These are all the faces which I'm going to select and uh, extrude them as triceps muscle and I'm going to scale it correctly This line uh, I need to shift it till there I'm going to move like that and inside because the biceps and triceps are too close here and then you have brachialis popping up here again at the bottom okay this one I'm going to delete this line and then cut it like that I extrude them and then use multi cut tool I have just relaxed uh, this uh, all faces using the sculpt uh, tool I just uh, hold shift and then start relaxing them like that okay if I just see this you got the flow but only thing is you need to start uh, sculpting it uh, correctly just by relaxing them or bringing up the details I can use the tool settings strength uh, is 0 0.1 I'm put putting it to 0 0.05 and then trying to just uh, sculpt that volume of triceps okay just making it more pop flexing up muscles will have a overall different shape so uh, we are doing relaxed one so you need not push it that much but uh, yeah for your satisfaction that you have achieved something you can generally try it 
okay so just try to concentrate on the uh, silhouettes okay just make sure that that curvatures are clearly seen from the front or other views okay you can press 7 and then you could able to see the silhouettes of the model and and you should able to feel that third dimension in this flat image then it, you're going correctly okay when i press 7 i'm in the light mode and uh, all lights are generally i've not placed lights so that's looking dark okay so that's how i generally build this uh, uh, features of the upper arm the uh, the forearm the lower part of the arm is more complicated uh, comparatively uh, but yeah uh, we need to explore that also so we have um, in, uh, in the armpit we have coraco brachialis also and um, we have biceps brachialis triceps and brachialis uh, popping up here it's just like sandwiched between the uh, bone upper part of the forearm which is uh, humerus humerus and uh, biceps has sandwiched this brachialis uh, muscle so that's why you're able to see that's coming on this side and also on that side so make sure that your lines are correct and uh, uh, there are lines which are unsolved don't worry we can um, you know take it forward to the body or you know sort it out somewhere in the later part when we refine the model okay um, explore uh, the book again which i have referred to you and see um, uh, how close you are achieving the model okay still i could see the clavicle is not refined here we can add loops here as i told i want to add loops for that and then get the result but so far so good um, i am uh, heading towards in the correct direction i believe okay